Hey man, what's going on? Trip Kramer here from TripAdvice.com. On today's video, I wanted to talk about the three types of men that girls really go for, but will never say it. So I want to be listing you three not so obvious ones. You know, you're, you're going to hear maybe from other YouTube videos from other people. Oh, she goes for the bad boy, but I'm not talking about those obvious ones. I'm talking about those ones where she doesn't admit them. Girls admit all the time that they go for the bad boys, but they rarely admit these. And I wanted to create this video, and the reason why this is so important is because what you're going to learn from this is how to extract the qualities of the guys that she goes for. So this is not just about gossiping and, and making fun of girls. This is about understanding and learning what women go for, why they're attracted to these types of guys and extract those qualities so you can learn them. So you can take these and you can use them in your life. You can become a guy that women are attracted to and you can have a dating life that is fun and awesome because you're with the women that you really like. And I understand that it can be complicated, that women's attraction towards men can seem complicated. And the reason why it seems complicated is because it does have to do a lot with behavior. Yes, it does have to do with looks, and we'll get into that in just a second, but it has to do with behavior as well. And that's not something that's very intuitive for guys to understand because, of course, when we are attracted to women, we are thinking of their physical attributes. Now, listen, don't get discouraged. Again, we're going to go over and extract some qualities from these guys so you can be a guy that is also very attractive to women and not having to be these three exact types. Okay, don't get discouraged. This is not a MGTOW type of video that's trying to just, uh, you know, like I said, make fun of women and then push them away and ha ha ha, we understand how terrible, evil and, and you know, whatever, how bad women are. That's not what this is about. This is about becoming a guy who is more attractive and in turn, it's going to make you actually have a better life. So stay tuned towards the end when I help you extract these qualities that is going to make you actually a better person in general. So it's a whole win-win all around. If you need help with any of this, don't forget I do coaching, coachedbytrip.com. So there is more help beyond the YouTube channel. You can go to coachedbytrip.com and you can apply today or you can work with me or another coach at TripAdvice and we can help you. I have programs like Masterminds where you're joining other guys. I have one-on-one -on -one coaching. I have all kinds of options that help you in terms of helping you approach more women, talk to more women, get your online dating profile set up so it is at its most, most optimized so you'll be able to attract as many women as possible and get more dates from online. And of course, like I said, helping you meet women in person and help you hold accountable to do approaches and such. It's very powerful. It is one of the best things you can do is get coaching in this area or any area for that matter. Coaching is the most ultimate thing. All right, let's go to the first one. Number one, top 10% of guys online. So this is something that's been going around that is uh, been shown by data to be true. And I don't think women will be admitting it. So they're going for the types of guys who are in, are in the top 10%. And that is mostly going to be guys who are physically attractive. So you're most physically attractive and tall guys. And so not a lot of women will admit that. I know a lot of women do say that they like to go for tall guys, but I also think a lot of women like to say, no, that's not true. They swipe on all kinds of guys and they give all kinds of guys chances. I don't think so. I think the data speaks for itself. They are going for the top 10% of guys online. Again, those guys are going to probably have very good jobs, very handsome, and probably very strong, big muscles, you know, the, the most attractive versions of guys you could think of, tall, dark, and handsome. Those are the guys that are definitely getting the most attention, and that's happening online. Here's the, the good news, is that this is something that you can fix. We're going to go into that towards the end here. First, I want to go through the, the three types. So the top 10% of guys online. Okay, the next one is the most popular guy in school type. The most popular guy in school type. So that is, i.e., a guy who has a bit of status going for him. So it's not literally always the most popular guy in school. This could also be at work. It could be in the friend group. It's the guy who has social proof that is liked and or loved by the women around 
or the men around. So a person of status. And I don't think a lot of women even know that they're going for these guys or care to admit it, but it is true. There is a reason why women are going for the guys who are the popular guys at school. And I like to say popular, not jock. Jock is kind of a cliche, although jocks do seem to have a lot of status in the school, uh, but they do go for guys who are getting a lot of attention. So even the class clown, even that type. I remember when I was in high school, there was a lot of guys who were not jocks at all who had a lot of attention because they were just kind of bad boys who had a lot of friends and a lot of people were always paying attention to them. Again, this is not just for guys in school. So this is not just teaching guys in high school. I'm trying to give you an analogy. It's also the guys who are having that kind of social proof in all different areas. Like I said, work settings, friend settings. It can even be online status. So having a lot of followers, things like that. Women are attracted to that guy. Next is athletes and the highly skilled. Women are going for athletes and the highly skilled athletes you know even though they might not be that attractive they can still get women of course the ones that are attractive will get most of the women but the ones that are very good athletes or highly skilled it can be even a person who's in a band who's just a rock star women are going to go for these guys as well and i don't believe they care to admit that very easily because it makes them look like i don't know some sort of gold digger or something like that or or just someone who's trying to go after the popular guy. Now, again, I know this is kind of related to this, the most popular guy in school type, but this is a little bit different because this is for a very specific reason, you know, someone who is skilled in something, and that's why they're getting all that attention, the athletes and the highly skilled. All right, so let's take these traits and let's use them. Let's extract what these guys have and how if you're not an athlete or highly skilled person, if you're not a typical popular guy in school, in your work, in your social circle, or happen to be a super attractive guy who is one of the top 10% of guys online, you can still absolutely get these traits and use them. First, let's talk about when I was saying the 10% of guys online, the trait here is your looks, okay? So optimize your looks. I don't think guys focus on this enough. I don't think they pay attention enough to their style. I don't think they pay enough attention to just their look in general, just what they are presenting out in the world, putting on cologne, general grooming, paying attention and investing in your haircut, in the way that your grooming is all set up. Are you shaving? Are you getting rid of that neck beard? What are you doing? Pay attention to that. Optimize your looks, and then you can start to trend towards the top of the 10% of guys online. And a way to do that is by optimizing your look, hiring a photographer because you want the best looking picture possible that's going to make you look the best. And I've had guys that I've worked with in my coaching program, by the way, who have done this, who have literally just hired a professional photographer. I coached them through the photographer and also what to wear and they were getting amazing results online because their photos are good. You don't have to do coaching, by the way. I'm giving you the tips on what to do now. I'm just saying this is something that I've helped guys with and it is proven to work. Optimize your looks, hire a photographer, and you can get to a more higher percentile online. Next, work on social proof. So we're talking about the most popular guy in school type. So in order to be that type of guy or extract the trait from this, you want to make sure you're working on social proof. What does that mean? That means when you're going out to bars and talking to people, make sure you're talking to everyone. Bring friends. Be social. Bring girlfriends. I don't advise that you meet women at work. It's not my advice that I usually give, but if you are at work, be social with everyone. Go to the outings. Talk to people. I wouldn't just really highly advise to be a leader in areas of your life. That could be work. That could be your social circle. That could be volunteering. That could be extracurricular activities or hobbies. How can you become a leader in these areas? How can you be a person who's stepping up and taking control, getting on the boards of stuff? Whatever it may be, work on social proof. Work on getting yourself to a place where people are looking up to you. You don't have to do this. I'm just saying this helps and we're learning about the different traits and extracting the different traits. Next, 
have passion purpose projects. So this is a new term I've come up with recently. I like the PPP, passion purpose projects. What's that? That's taking on from the quality of the athletes and the highly skilled. These guys have passion, purpose, and projects. Now, of course, athletes and the highly skilled are people who are very good at what they do. My point here is, is you don't have to be insanely good or highly skilled or a professional athlete by any means to attract a woman. You can be someone who has a passion, a purpose, or project that someone who is working towards something or even decently good at something, and that can still be attractive to women. It's that idea. Yes, the guy who's the athlete is going to be way more attractive than you who just has a, a hobby. That's true. But someone who does nothing with their life, doesn't have any passion or purpose or any projects, it's, uh, it's really not going to get them anywhere. So you can really get a leg up if you're working on some of these things. What is your passion? Are you really passionate about your work? Are you passionate about a side hustle? Do you have some sort of mission or purpose like my mission and purpose? coming back to coaching is to coach guys and create videos like this and help as many guys as possible. Are you working on any projects? Are you doing anything for the community? Are you doing anything in the different activities that you have going on? Think about that. So these are things, by the way, that you're going to work on over time. This is not overnight stuff, but these are the outer qualities that you want to be working on as much as possible optimizing looks, working on social proof, passion, purpose projects. These are long-term goals. And like I said earlier, this is not just for women and to be attractive to women. This is going to help you in general. You're going to feel better when you look better. You're going to have a more fun and active, engaging social life if you're working on social proof. And you're going to have more of a purpose and passion, which is going to help with depression and help with just general anxiety when you're working on passion and purpose projects. So I want you to be thinking about these things on an ongoing basis. If you need help, go to coachedbytrip.com. Apply today if you want to work with me or another coach where we can work on some of these things and, of course, working on more of the granular stuff with attracting and talking to women. Hope this helped. Press like if it did. I'll put this link in the description down below. And thanks for watching.